In this problem, we are asked to calculate a future value. Sander wants to deposit $150 each year for her son. If she places her deposits in a savings account that pays 6% per year, what amount will be in the account in 20 years? Well, if Sander just put $150 in a year for 20 years, she would have deposited 150 times 20 or $3,000. But what she will have in there is a lot more because of the interest that is paid each year and then interest will be paid on the interest that's also in the account. This is called the future value of an annuity. An annuity is any time that we have equal amounts of money being deposited or paid each period. We can use the financial calculator built into My Finance Lab to solve this problem. Okay, so Sander wants to deposit 150 each year for her son. So I am going to enter 150. And I am going to click on the plus or minus to make this an, a, a minus amount. That's because it is a cash outflows. So typically a present value that's going in as a deposit, or in our case a payment, is a negative amount. Once I've keyed in minus 150, I click on the payment. If she places her deposits in a savings account that pays 6% per year. So 6 is the interest rate per year. So I've clicked on 6. Now I will click on I slash Y interest rate per year. Finally, what amount will be in the account for 20 years? That is the number of times she'll be putting in this $150. So I click on two zero for 20, then click on N, number of periods. So N is 20. I can check my display here to see that everything is right. If I want to start over with one, I can click on uh, clear. But I'm ready to go. So I will click on CPT, which is compute, and then future value and I get 551784. 551784. And I'll check my answer. Excellent! Okay, Because the interest has been building up in this account year after year after year, Sandra has much more than the $3,000 she deposited in total. That account will earn 5517 or be worth that amount of money in 20 years. All right. Now when we go to question 15, we get a little twist on this. This is asking how much will you have in 60 months if you invest $101 a month at 8% annual interest. Here's the difference. Similar problem. It's an annuity same amount deposited per period over time. The difference is this interest rate. This is 8% annual interest, but the periods are in months, so we have to convert them. So we can't use a table because we're not going to find that type of interest rate. Instead, let's use our, use our financial calculator. How much will we have in 60 months? So 60 is my N. My payment or equal amount is $101. I put that in at 101 plus or minus. That's my payment. Present value is zero. There's nothing in there now. But my interest rate is in terms of a year. To make everything equal, I take that 8% and divide it by 12. And I get 0.666. A number of sixes, the last one is a 7. So again, I take 
the annual interest rate and divide it by the number of periods per year. So for monthly, 8% divided by 12. And I get 0.66666, a number of sixes, and then the last one will round to seven. Okay, and that is my interest per year, rounded it to 0.67. Now I will do compute future value, and I get 7, 4, 2, 1, 16. which I can no longer enter. I've already done this. Let's do a similar one. Bear with me. Calculator again. 60 months. 60 is N. 132 a month. 132 minus. That's my payment. 12% annual interest. 12% divided by 12 months would be 1% per month. So 1 is my interest. I double check my numbers here. Then I compute future value. 10,780.40. Check my answer. Good job. Okay, I hope this has helped you understand how to use the financial calculator and work with future uh, values when we have an annuity and annual interest rates.